In this morning's Health Watch, more than 11 million women in the United States use birth control pills. Now, two new studies are linking the pills to a health risk, blood clots, and some pills are safer than others. Our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with more on that. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. So what is this link then between the pill and these blood clots? So new study, two very large studies out of Europe that appeared in the British Medical Journal, which showed that we've known that there's an increased risk in blood clots. That's not new. What mm -hmm. this study elucidated for us is that there's actually a difference between individual birth control pills, and that is challenging to the generally held conception that all, all pills are the same. Are the same. Okay. They are not, and women need to know the subtle differences. And, and w you need to emphasize, though, why getting a blood clot as a result of this is dangerous. That's right. Well, in some cases, of course, it could be fatal. It can travel from the leg up to the lung, and that is a known risk of oral contraceptives. Mm -hmm. But again, we need to remember here that right. there are subtle differences, and that's really what this is. Well, let's shows. talk about it. So we have some samples, uh, examples up here. People, uh, women by and large, you say, don't really know there's a difference between this and this and That's this. right. And we have brand names here, but this applies to genetic as well. Women need to remember two things. Most combination pills contain an estrogen and a progesterone. They should ask for the lowest amount of estrogen. The number they want to remember is 20. It contains 20 micrograms of mm -hmm. estrogen. And they want to ask for the progesterone part that begins with the letter L or N. Those are the safest combination of pills. Mm. And again, the majority of women, they think they're all the same and they don't ask their doctor about the difference. We'll have this on our website. So if people exactly. are saying, what is the L, we'll, we'll, we'll right. you go on the website and that way you'll be able to check it out. Are there some women who absolutely should not be taking the pill? There's a long list, Harry. And again, this is generally a safe medication, but there can be side effects. The big three are really women who have a classic history of migraines and they're over the age of 35. Mm. They're smokers and they're over the age of 35, mm. or they have a family history of a very specific clotting disorder. Those women should not take the pill. And on the other hand, the pill, though, can be uh, protective in some, some regards Absolutely. to some diseases. And not only is it effective contraception, it also dramatically reduces the risk of ovarian and uterine cancer. And again, we have to stress this particular study mm -hmm. was about blood clots. There are, of course, other risks. Even though it's safe, women should talk to their oh, doctor. We'll have all it. the details on the website. Dr. Ashton, as always, thanks so much.